This is Nick Douglas for Adventures of a Sailor Girl here at the Sailing World Cup Final in Melbourne at the St Kilda Sailing Precinct. Jeff Woolley, you are a coach. You're coaching the 470s at the moment. Yep. It's day one. What are you doing to get everybody ready? Um, we're just keeping it pretty chilled out, relaxed, and had a bit of a catch-up before. Just going over some of the priorities for the day and um, talking to the individual teams about some of their goals for the week. And yeah, sure. Yeah, just it's a pretty relaxed event, only eight boats for us, so just keeping things simple, really. Exactly. A little bit more simple than the Olympics in Rio, where you were coaching Liesl and Dan, who did win gold in the SCUD. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, oh, that was an exciting event for us, but... Pretty difficult events, so but they they sailed amazingly, so yeah. it, it was easy in the end. Not easy, but they made it look easy. Yeah, <laughs> they made your job easy. Exactly, they made my job easy. Yeah. <laughs> that said, they do say that you are the backbone, and and now you're working with a new class. That's exciting. Yeah, it's going to be good. I'm really excited to get into it with the girls, just getting to know everyone, and early days still, so sort of just working out how we operate and the systems and everything. But yeah, it's going to be fun. Sure. And is it different moving from the Scud to the 470? No. Same practices? Same thing. Exactly yeah. the same, yeah. So what, what are you looking like? Just Is it about preparation for you? Because I remember everyone saying that Liesl and Dan were just so well prepared. Yeah, that was their, their strength as well, especially with Dan being so ex experienced. Um, yeah, I think it's just the usual stuff, just good preparation over the years and just slowly ticking the little things off. Um, doesn't happen quickly, it's just slowly working through, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it is the start of a cycle, long way to go. Exactly, and <laughs> four more years, so... We'll Three and a half years, something. So. Awesome. And a whole week to go here at Sailing World Cup Melbourne. Lovely to talk to you, Jeff. Good Thank luck you, to yeah. your girl. Thanks a lot. No worries. This is Nick Douglas for Adventures of a Sailor Girl at Sailing World Cup Melbourne in the St Kilda Sailing Precinct. A little bit of behind the scenes action. Bundy, coaching duty. How's it going? Day one. What are you telling your sailors to get them ready for action? Yeah, I guess it's, it's great to be here at Sail Melbourne for the first day of racing. Um, it's, it's good. We've got a real mix of sailors um, from Olympic silver medalists. Um, Jason Waterhouse and Lisa Darmanen to um, all our Pathway to Gold athletes as well. So the young ones coming through. Um, six Aussies here, six Aussie teams. So it's probably the, I guess, the best start we've started a, a four year quad for, yeah. um, having that many boats. So, um, you know, we just want to go out there and do some racing and see how the young guys go against the more experienced teams. Yeah, now, the last cycle you were actually campaigning yourself, but now you're in a coaching role. How does that help you? I mean, you've done so many cycles before. There's so much knowledge there. Yeah, I guess I have did four Olympic campaigns, um, went to three Olympics, so got a little Won bit a few medals. Won a couple of medals <laughs> here and there. Um, but yeah, it's a different, different role for me now, being on the coach boat and passing on a bit of experience. Um, We'll see how we go with it. <laughs> but what, what are you telling the, the younger sailors? I mean, you've got the, the more experienced guys, Jason, Lee. I mean, obviously, they're looking to consolidate on a, on a great year. But the, the younger ones, what's the key message when they're starting this Olympic court, even though it's the Sailing World Cup final? Yeah, I guess the key message is just to get the experience, um, yeah. especially sailing against the more experienced guys. Mm. Um, not be put off by them, but, you know, use that as a challenge to get, get in there and mix it up with them. Um, Give, them, give the experienced guy a hard time, <laughs> um, especially on the start lines, and, and see how they go. Cause so stick it to them. Stick it to them, really. <laughs> yeah. I love it, Bunny. That's great. Well, good luck to you for this week. Enjoy the new, I guess, pathway for yourself in the sport. Yeah, thank you. No, no looking forward to it. Good awesome. challenge for the next four years. And um, these flies are going to be a challenge for me all week, I reckon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> shocking. It's Melbourne. It's, it's Aussie. <laughs>